Hi guys, in this video we will be talking about the relate wheel selection method. At first uh, look at the genetic algorithm framework. At step 3 we need the selection method. Okay, let's say initial population size is M and out of M we have to choose N people so that these n people will be used by this step to generate the new offspring. okay in other words we can say that out of my initial population of capital m size we have to choose n so whatever the mechanism that chooses any number of individuals is known as selection method so one such selection method is Relate with selection. Assume that there are five people in my population. Now let's assume the small n is three. What is small n? The small n is nothing but the size of the mating pool. It means out of five, we have to select three individuals and how we have to choose this algorithm so such how to choose okay now <clears throat> out of this five okay we have listed the chromosome there this five this five are nothing but five chromosomes and we have to calculate their fitness value using the fitness function okay so what is the step one? Step one says that we have to calculate the fitness value of each individual, okay, using the fitness function. So what is the fitness function that is not uh, being discussed here? Compute the probability of each member of the population. How to calculate the probability? First, we have to add these things. 28 plus 18 plus 14 plus 9 plus 26 equal to 95. Now apply the step 2. 28 by 95 is 0.295. 18 by 95 is 0.189 and so on. Then apply the step number 3 where we are calculating cumulative probability of each individual okay pi is the probability of each individual or each chromosome and qi is the cumulative probability so the cumulative probability of individual one is 0.295 the probability itself now the cumulative probability of chromosome 2 is 0.295 plus 0.189 okay similarly the cumulative probability of individual 3 is nothing but 0.184 plus 0.147. Now the cumulative probability of individual 4 is 0 0.631 plus 0.95. And eventually the cumulative probability of this is, is 0 0.726 plus 0 0.274. So far we have talked about step number 1, step number 2, step number 3. Okay. We have all these informations ready with us. Let's go for step number four. Step number four says that we have to generate a random number which lies between zero to one. Then we have to compare that random number with the cumulative probability. Okay. And based on the comparison, we have to make a decision that which individual is going to be in the mating pool. Okay. So there are two logics either my r is less than q1 or my r is greater than q1 if r is greater than q1 this situation may arise okay so look at the step number six after executing one two three step look at the step number six it says that four and five is going to be repeatedly executed okay so execute line number four if my um, random number is 
suppose point uh, 8 okay if it is point 8 then it seems that point 8 lies between point 7 to 6 and 1 so this logic is satisfied i mean this condition is satisfied if this is condition is satisfied we have to select the individual xi so xi just because this is the cumulative probability of individual 4 and this is cumulative probability of individual 5 so individual 5 is selected into the mating pool okay and two more to be there in the mating pool now again <coughs> go to step 4 and uh, let's say r equal to 0.18 if it is 0.18, we found that R is less than Q1. So this condition is satisfied. If R is less than Q1, then select the first chromosome X1 as the selected member into the mating pool. So X1 comes into picture. Whether my N becomes 3? No, not yet. One more to be selected. So again, go to step 4 and randomly generate one number let's say that number is 0.5 and we found that 0.5 lies between the cumulative probability 0.484 and 0.726 is it no 0.5 lies between 0.484 and 0.631. Therefore, the individual corresponding to 0.631 will be selected into the mating pool. What is that? X3. Clear? Yeah. Now, our sixth step says that all N candidates have been selected into the mating pool, so we have to stop the execution. So far, we have discussed about the algorithm without realizing the working of an underlying wheel. Now, alternatively, this algorithm could be understood in the form of a wheel. Okay? So, what is this wheel all about? This wheel is divided into five parts because there are five chromosomes okay and this wheel is partitioned based on the fitness values okay so it can be said that chromosome 1 occupies 29.5 percent chromosome 2 occupies 18.9 percent chromosome 3 occupies 14.7 chromosome 4 9.5 percent and chromosome 5 occupies 27.4%. So how does this wheel work? Initially, the pointer is pointing to 0. Okay? And before that, I, uh, I would like to make some point that uh, these values are nothing but cumulative probabilities. Okay? And the wheel is normalized to value 1. Start from 0 and ends with one okay now initially the pointer is pointing to zero and we have to spin the wheel and when the wheel stops when the wheel stops if the pointer is at point eight then we can say that x5 is selected into the mating pool. Again, we have to spin the wheel, okay? And when the wheel stops, if the pointer points to a value called 0.18, then we can take X1 into the mating pool, okay? Now, whether my algorithm stopped, I mean, whether my algorithm is terminated, not yet because we have to choose three 
individuals to the mating pool. So we have to spin the wheel once again and when the wheel stops, if my wheel is pointing to suppose some value 0.5, where is 0.5? Let's say 0.5 is here. Then X3 is going to be part of mating pool. The idea is that the algorithms R value, look at the R value, where is that R value? See in, uh, in line number 4, we are generating a random value R. That is nothing but we are doing a spin of the wheel and we are generating this 0 0.8, 0 0.18 and 0.5 random values so that we can choose the individuals accordingly. Okay. Basically, this uh, roulette wheel selection is based on this uh, wheel principle only. But to make the discussion simpler, I have discussed the algorithm and the underlying stuff. Then I switch to the alternative understanding of the wheel. Okay. Now, uh, we have to make a point that what is fitness proportionate? This method is also known as fitness proportionate method because for individual, if uh, the fitness value is much more high, then it is highly likely to be part of mating pool. For example, X1 has the highest score. Okay, so the fitness value of X1 is the highest, so it is uh, most likely to be part of the mating pool because it occupies a larger portion of portion of the wheel. Okay. With this, we understood this roulette wheel selection method in two ways okay we really i mean we discussed uh, this algorithm and the uh, subsequent uh, calculations then we realized the alternative way of understanding this algorithm that is visualizing the way with this the roulette will selection discussion each hour thank you